Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about starting too late. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am 26 and I just started learning how to program. I feel like I'm so late into the game and there's no way that I can achieve anything meaningful at this point. Do you think I should stop be trying to become a programmer? No. I, you probably don't. Uh, you might. Uh, you might not know this, but I started when I was 26, and now I would say that. Well, I'm not gonna to toot my own horn, but uh, at this point, I'm pretty much considered to be one of. Uh, well, one of the top uh, programmers at my company, even though I'm working with people who are vastly more talented and vastly more experienced than I uh, than I am. I mean, these days, I mean, I, I I hang out with senior senior developers, not just at work. Like we, we it's not we don't just collaborate at work. Uh, and I'm treated as an equal to uh, to these people. Uh, we actually hang out in our leisure time as well. And some of them have three, in some cases, almost four times the amount of experience that I have. So just because you start later, if you, just because you don't start coding when you're eight years old, or just because you start, like that, that doesn't really matter. What matters is how hard are you willing to push yourself? Like, do you have the aptitude? Do you have the passion and the interest to make a success out of yourself? I like to say to the people who ask a very normal, a very common question, which is, how much time every day do I have to spend on programming? How much time do I have to invest to become this and that? And I go, how much are you willing to give? That's the real question. The real, because it's the answer is different for everybody. How, it's the, like asking, how can I get a six pack? Well, it depends. How fat are you? If you're a, if you're skinny as hell when you start out, you're probably not going to have to work all that hard. If you're really really obese, you're going to have to work harder. It's the same thing with everything. And so, giving up at 26 is it, it's, it's ridiculous. You, you it's not going to take you 10 years to uh, to learn how to write software. It's it's not something that is so massively complicated that you can't do it or that if you didn't get on the train when you like it's not like professional hockey or professional being a professional athlete where you literally have to start when you're six years old because you it's going to take that long to build up the strength and the and the skill to compete in the olympics or in professional hockey or something like that it's not the same thing this is just a job guys and sure you might find that there are some people who are more gifted than you and they started earlier and so forth but you will also find that there are people who started much much later who just kind of get it like they're talented or they they spend all their leisure time working as hard as they can to uh, to uh, to do really well the other day a, a co-worker of my, mine said to me that he gave me a very nice compliment that I felt really flattered to get he said that uh, he he thinks that uh, you know, f considering that I haven't been doing this as for as long, or I c that I'm a I'm a good developer, and that felt. I mean, it feels nice to be told that you're a good developer, and he said yeah, you must be very talented. And I said no, uh, I'm actually I would say that I'm a very average developer. It's just that I really love this and I push it as hard as I can. And you see, f uh, and a lot of people have told me this, especially I mean, even my my family in many cases have told me that. The, like yeah, you're, so, it's so unfair because Frederick, you're just good at this sort of stuff, and I go, I feel like you're, not really, you're. I think I feel like you're, dismissing, a lot of work that I do, it, as something that I'm just gifted because I'm not gifted. I was never gifted at programming. I can promise you, I wasn't. I struggled as hell, when I started out, and I still count Curious Kiwi which was this random woman on a forum as my personal uh, personal savior because I was close to giving up on programming uh, because I couldn't really get it in the beginning and but uh, she helped me and I worked so hard to get to a point where I'm where I could do this I would like to um, if you watch that uh, anime sh uh, anime show uh, Naruto there is a character that I I would say that perfectly embodies 
the sort of uh, programmer that I am, and that is Rock Lee. And in in the show, Rock Lee is the he's one of the least talented uh, in, uh, from a lot of perspectives uh, ninjas in the in the show. But if you actually see his origin story or see his backstory, uh, the reason he can keep up with the others is because he literally puts in so much work outside of what everybody's seeing that he manages to actually reach their level. That is exactly how I do uh, what I do. And I think that you, uh, you can do the same thing. It's just a matter of do you want to put in that sort of work? Because I wake up at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. every single morning to try to push it and then I go to bed reading articles about software engineering. And I have been doing this for years since I was 26 and I've never stopped. So what I want you to take away from this is that no, you're not too late to the game just because you're 26 and you want to learn programming. The thing is guys, software development is not like the Olympics. You don't have to start when you're six years old and otherwise you're completely fucked. And even if you, or every athlete will tell you that there are different competition levels. You don't, if you don't have to compete to be in the Olympics. You can start when you're middle aged and still run a, a marathon. It's all up to you, like wh what level do you want to put yourself at? And I can promise you, if it just comes down to you wanting to do work as a professional software developer, you can reach that goal at many stages in your life. It all comes down to, are you willing to put in the work? And just because you're not a genius, that doesn't mean that you can't bridge the genius part and the talent that other people have through hard work. Hard work, work will practically always be enough for you to get to where you want to be. Have a great day.